in the submucosa and muscularis layers of the GI tract, there exist nerve nets of plexuses, interwoven sets of small neurons, and it is these neurons which run the digestive processes. While the brain and spinal cord can affect digestion, we send less resources to the digestive tract during an emergency, or we maximally innervate the digestive tract when we are at rest uh, because of the sympathetic and parasympathetic divisions, for example. The vast majority of the process of digestion is not governed by the brain or spinal cord, but rather by these plexuses. These plexuses in the submucosa and muscularis uh, form their own nervous system, the enteric nervous system, or ENS, which is largely independent of the central nervous system. It is enormous in its size, given that there are about 100 million neurons in the ENS, comparable to the number present in the spinal cord. It is perhaps interesting that the most primitive animals to possess a nervous system, and the earliest animals in the fossil record to possess a nervous system, were jellyfish-like cnidarians. They do not have a brain or spinal cord, a central nervous system, but they do have a nerve net of plexuses around the gut. This enteric nervous system seems to be that uh, branch of the nervous system which evolved first, long before there was a brain and spinal cord.